Hello everyone, Bazooka here, and uh, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So, the last episode, everything went really well. Uh, the only thing that I want going for me right now is uh, to get rid of this wounded trait, which shouldn't be that hard, but for some reason it is. It just keeps staying there. Uh, whatever. I had a daughter. I really want to have a son at this point, but I'm still young. I'm still like 22 years old, so uh, not a big problem. Uh, so, I was plotting to actually revoke this guy's title. It's got two titles, but I've got two two main, uh, two more domains until I reach my uh, uh, domain size limit. So I can revoke both both of his titles actually. So I'm not gonna be too worried about him. Now there's a bribable guy and um, send a gift, twenty gold, not not too bad. Although we're really gonna need some gold, but yeah, let's unpause here. Let's go to triple speed as usual. Uh, that guy should back our plot now. There you go. So I should be able to revoke this uh, thing. Oh, cool. That's cool. He actually gave it to me. Okay, now let's revoke your other thing. Uh, can't revoke it, though, which is sort of weird. Now, this guy dislikes me a lot, uh, which is not good. But let's see here. Why can I not revoke his title anymore? I don't know how the whole, like plot system works when it comes to revoking titles um i can revoke this guy's title i can get the island of all end and no one will, will really care because um can revoke it pretty easily no one wants to join yet okay that's that's cool oh there you go they did okay so let's revoke it hopefully he's just gonna give it to me okay let's pause uh raise my troops i have a thousand event spawn troops which is good for me. Should be a very easy war. Again, if he's gonna run away, I'm just gonna let him run away. I don't really care. I'm not a huge fan of the idea of me leading troops right now, just because I'm wounded. Although otherwise, it's good because I'm gonna be able to get some morale, uh, not morale, but prestige and piety, and uh, you know, I can upgrade my marshal this way as well. And that should be at 100%. There you go. That was very, very easy. So now I'm in my domain limit, which uh, should be, I'm content with that. So that, that that's good. Now we can start subjugating more people while we still have those uh, event spawn troops. Start with this guy. How about that? Should be really easy. I'm going to call my allies into the war. And I have more and more troops. That's really nice. I'm ill. That's not good. I'm wounded as well. So my health should be pretty low. I was thinking about changing to the hunting focus simply because it gives me plus one health, but I won't be able to do it for another three years, really. That's quite a long time. Whatever. Uh, let's here. see here. So, I'm not going to be leading troops because I'm ill and I'm also wounded, so that's not great. Let's kill. No, let's actually just go for it. So, this way I can... Uh... He doesn't have enough men to actually siege this, so it's fine. It's gonna be, again, very quick. And I think when I subjugate people, they actually like me, so that's that's cool. There you go. Offer peace. Cool. Subjugated this guy. Should we just keep on going? This guy is uh, de jure Norway, actually. Let's see the de jure kingdoms. For some reason, these two are Norway. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I don't know. I think this thing should be Sweden. But apparently the borders back in the day were a little bit different. So, whatever. Or should we go for, like, a bigger guy? I don't want to subjugate this guy yet. Wait. What's going on? Denmark just disappeared, so now it's Saxony. But it's the Danish guy, actually, who created the kingdom. He doesn't have the ambition to create Denmark, so I can actually subjugate this guy safely without worrying about the territory later on. So that's that's good. This guy's a duke. Well, it's a petty king, apparently. That's what it's called for the Norse pagans. And uh, should be able to defeat him pretty easily. So uh, let's declare, declare war on him. Subjugation of Sweden. Actually, when I... Yeah, of course. When I do the subjugation of Sweden, I'm only going to get this territory. I'm not going to get the de jure Denmark territory. So that's fine. Um, again, pause, raise troops. Finally getting some troops from um, those two counties that I revoked. So... It's really nice. I'm not ill anymore. Now if I can lose the uh, wounded trade, that will be even better. Okay, I'm, I'm actually leading troops still. What happened? 
Okay, so these guys have disbanded. I don't know what I should do actually with those troops. Fight infidels, like people of other religions, or like go raiding. I'm really not sure what I should do with those with those guys. Oh, whatever. That's fine. I lost some event spawn troops. Not all of them, because the others are not spawned by my... Uh... Oh, I want kind. Kind's a good trade. Good. Because um, most of those event spawn troops were actually spawned by my marshal. And they're going to keep staying like that as long as I... Uh... Um, as long as I use them in battle, like fight wars, so that's fine. Okay, subjugated this guy successfully. We got, we can press de jure claims. Should we press de jure claims? I can actually create two titles. No, still only this one. And it's this. No, I want to create the kingdom of Sweden. It's going to be much better. Actually, I yeah, subjugated this guy, so this is now my territory as well. He's my vassal. All right. All those are counts. Do you have any dukes or petty kings? No. I have two duchies right now. So that's fine. I don't need to create more duchies. Okay, well, we can keep on going. I guess this guy now. Um, okay, what if we declare... We cannot declare war on him. Oh, we've, uh, of course, we've got our levies raised, so that explains it. Now let's declare one. This guy's got... Oh, he's actually got a lot of troops. Oh, yeah, because that, that whole thing is his. But if we win this war, though, that's great because that, that means a lot of territory. And I'm already going to be able to create the Kingdom of Sweden. So that's really nice. Um, raise troops again. At least that's really easy at this point. Perfect, so this guy likes me now. Um, this guy, because I'm going to try and get an alliance with him. Um, he, this guy, he's actually married. He's not married. His wife's dead. Whatever. My daughter's too young in the moment, so I'm not going to really care about that. Let's assign generals. Um, I don't want to be leading troops, because now we're actually going to have a more serious fight. So some men are going to fall and die. Let's actually go and fight his army first. Should be able to reach him. There you go. Easy enough. Let's just ping pong him a little bit. Oh, uh, so I lost. There you go. I upgraded my uh, my thing. So because I was you know fighting even though it wasn't leading troops, right? Yeah, it wasn't leading troops, but still because I won the battle, um, I got the skilled tactician instead of tough soldier. That's why I got tough soldier because I know that I can upgraded so that's exactly what happened so that's cool now i have more marshall let's see what it actually gives me plus six marshall that's incredible uh plus one intrigue plus one stewardship minus one learning not a big deal learning is like not a good skill plus 50 plus 0.5 health which is good and plus one personal combat so that's really nice let's go to triple speed just quadruple is a little bit too much this guy's actually sieging my stuff well now I'm getting the ticking war score, I think. So, uh, never mind. Let's go to quadruple again. We just finish this as quickly as possible, and then we're gonna have to have a lot of money to actually create the kingdom of Sweden. Is he coming to attack? He is, by the looks of it. Oh, he's trying to take those territories back. Now he won't be able to siege anything, so I'm fine with that. Let's we'll just keep sieging his stuff. Subjugation wars tend to take a while, so. Yeah, that's normal. One more county, maybe. Oh, he's actually got enough troops to siege this. I don't care. As long as I'm sieging the war target, uh, I'm getting the chicken war score. So it doesn't really matter what he's sieging. As long as I have the um, territory that I'm subjugating. AKA his territory. So Really? I'm going to do that. Uh, I can't run away now. 82. Really? 2%? Going to make me siege another county for 2%? And I'm losing money now. So let's finish this quickly. Okay, my wife's pregnant again. Hopefully a son this time. What's my ambition? Oh yeah, become the king, king of Sweden. Actually, he's got taking war score, which is weird. There we go, 100%. And he's subjugated now. Okay, cool. Now, let's take a look at... I have bigger domain now 
Now I have six because I got one stewardship, so that increased my domain size. Okay, let's see. So all of this is my domain, so I can give one of those away. I don't like having this island, so let's just give it away to someone. Uh, search realm, we need men who are not in prison. Married, doesn't really matter. Ruler, no. My religion, my culture, adult, yes. Great house, no. Um, and we're gonna sort them by stewardship. So this guy, you won a, uh, you won this. There you go. Cool. So now we're back in our domain limit. Let's see if our vessels like us now. There's some that dislike us. This guy absolutely hates me because I usurped a saddle. Uh, so apparently he's gonna hate me like that. 150, really? Wow. He's a title claim. Wow, this this guy is not good. Not really gonna be able to assassinate him. He's 14. He's not ambitious, which is good. I have a couple of guys that I can actually bribe, sorta. I'm still losing money. Let's disband those guys. I know they're event spawn troops, but I don't care. They cost money, so. Yeah, it's boss, so. There you go. I lost the wounded trade. That's really good. And my wife's pregnant as well, so that's great. I have claims on all of those things. I actually kind of want to revoke this guy's title, so he's not my vassal anymore. He's really upset with me. Can I revoke his title? Oh, he's got three freaking titles. It's actually sort of powerful. It's gonna hate me even more, but um, should I do it? Okay, more events spawn troops. I don't need them right now. Let's actually assign my guy to do something else. Because I don't need them because they're gonna eat up my money. The, their event spawn troops, they, they don't have a lot of, um, uh, what do you call it, upkeep, but they're still gonna cost money a little bit. Let's actually make this guy like me. He likes me for 100 now, so that was pointless. Um, let's go and make some other guy like us now. Um, okay, wait, let's see here. Can I form the Kingdom of Sweden? I can, yes. I have enough stuff. What do I need? I need 285 gold. Um, and I need 200 piety. I do have 200 piety. So that's cool. Um, so I just need the gold right now. Okay, let's see what I'm gonna use my guys for. Fabricating claims, not really. Um, it's just improve relations with, like, people. Don't really need anything at this point. Can't really do, like, really good raiding at this point as well, because I don't have ships yet. Uh, we're not in the Viking Age yet, so I don't have ports right now in my settlements. Like, can't build ports, I don't have ships. Uh, so, even if I were to build those things, I, I still wouldn't have uh, ships. So, or I would, but there will be like one or two, which is not sufficient to actually go raiding. We need more ships. And uh, once we can do that, we're gonna raid, you know, some expensive stuff. Like, um, you know, stuff that can bring us a lot of money, like the papacy. The I thought they actually had more holdings. Whatever. Oh, that's cool. It's actually a cool event. Um, as you're out hunting one afternoon, a bearded elder approaches, um, donning a simple traveler's cloak and a wide-brimmed hat that conceals his other eye. He greets you uh, with courtesy, requests a horn of meat, and then informs you that just yonder, a well lies forgotten, filled with gold. He wanders off... Um, Chuckling as he goes, leaving you stuck with the familiarity of his presence. So, this guy's, apparently I can say this guy's Odin, and I met Odin, and I can get 50 gold, 50 prestige, and the trade Zealous, which is not a bad trade. It could backfire, but it's a good trade. Uh, we got, or I can do s Cynical, which, and lose 50 prestige, why would I do that? Um, so, let's get that, now we're Zealous. Which is great. Another daughter. So that's not good. But let's see if we can start getting some alliances. Um, not really. Sword by rank. No, these are just chiefs. I don't really care. New important decisions. Let's see here. 
Everyone's having sons, only I have daughters. Wow. Um, let's do... Okay, we have that on the stop plots. So, this woman wants to kill someone. I don't really care. We've got dangerous factions. This guy, um, who's 25 now. You only have one county. Okay, let's see. My liege and pains me to say, uh, but there was a traitor in the realm. Uh, the rotten egg is plotting your downfall. I enclosed it. Oh, okay. I have high intrigue, really? Six is not very high. Um, whatever. Let's see here. Let's do that. I have a lot of claims here. That's interesting. Eh, I don't need to use them. I have six domain. So, okay, my wife's pregnant again. Hopefully, I just want one son. That that's really all I want right now. And uh, we're gonna be changing. Well, what's going on? Uh, minus fifteen for two years. Whatever, I don't care. Let's do more tribal organization. So my vassals are gonna dislike me a little bit. Actually, we still have the short reign penalty, so it's not really smart to do it right now. This guy's gonna hate me no matter what, and I really wanna sort of assassinate him. Oh, I can now. Cool. There you go. 163, so we should be able to assassinate him. Soon enough. Yep, there you go. It fired. Come on. Kill him. Well, now they know, so my other vessels are gonna hate me, but I didn't like this guy. I actually inherited all of his titles. Am I a tyrant now? Dishonorable. Yeah, but dishonorable is not permanent. It's actually gonna... Yeah, no murderer. Uh, that's gonna disappear in, like, a couple of years, I think. I'm not sure exactly how many. So, I inherited all those things, so let's see here. We got three titles that I can give away, so they're gonna be those three. And, of course, to keep people, uh, you know... In order to avoid having people being, you know, too powerful, I'm gonna give them to different people. This guy's ambitious, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let's give a title to this guy, so he's gonna like me, I guess. Uh, wait, which one is that? Okay, I can give you this. I can give you... This is like the... Yeah, cool. That works. Um... And we can do this guy as well. Trying to avoid ambitious people because they can cause a lot of problems. Giving out one more, and that should be it. We've got a tech as well. Let's unpause. Um, and now we've got. Let's see here. We've got a military tech, apparently. Um, not sure. What should we do? Shipbuilding is a little bit early for that. Let's do heavy infantry. That sounds cool. Okay, this guy, um, I can bribe him, but I need my money. I actually have a lot of money now. Wow. How did I get all this money? Kingdom of Sweden. I need a little bit more gold. Okay, there we go. Finally have an heir. That's really nice. Now, we're gonna hope that we don't have more sons and everything should be okay. Cool. Cool. She would just give him like a proper name. Uh, she would just name him Canute again. There you go. That's fine. Okay, so uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, I, I want to keep those somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes, just like shorter stuff, because I don't like, you know, making videos that are just too long. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.